Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Papa Meerkat, and we are back in the world of Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Playing as the doppelganger. Alright, I'm still over here where I took out, uh, Red Belly. And in my last episode of, uh, Borderlands, the pre-sequel, I said I was going to farm Red Belly off camera. And I can't for some reason. He doesn't respawn. I think what you have to do is go back to Concordia, turn in the mission, then come back. And he'll be back. But you have to finish the mission first. Which is the a new direction. So let's go back to Serenity Waste. And if I finish this mission, then I'll be able to farm Red Belly off camera. Hopefully. It says return to Concordia. Is there no fast travel to Concordia itself? What the heck, man? Immunity to freeze damage. Hmm. Fire rate magazine size. Yay. Eh, turtle shields. What is my shield anyways? Let's see. Expanded shield. Huh. Nina, take care of you. Oh, Nina, I'll take care of you. See. Oh yeah, I still got that mission to turn in. This is a DLC. This is a DLC. This right here is for the Clock Trap DLC. This is, of course, an arena. Let's go to Triton Flash. Let's turn in this mission real quick and then head back to Concordia. What we got? I got them. You need them. Patriots trouble tr troublemaker. Huh. Accuracy is really low on that one though. Shield capacity, magazine size, blah 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 blue. All right, let's go. I'm closer to Concordia this way. Yes. You got problem with idiots? I take offense to that. <laughs> All right, I think I turned this mission over here at the gate of Concordia. Ah, uh, wow, flying all over the place. Paid the guards a stack of cash, so just walk on through security. Then come meet me when I fast travel down. Oh, that's why it's because you can't um, turn in this mission. You had to get the Marif closed all the, everything down. See if I need anything here. Nope. Any new grenades? Nope. Ooh. Aw. Oh. That recharge rate though is really high. Delays a little lower than mine by six points or point six points. But the capacity though that is weak. And I get a choice of sniper rifle and a grenade mod. Who knew community with your nature, a communi communing with nature could be a so bloody or fun? Great work. <laughs> we both hit the karma jackpot out there. Shards enemies are masked 50 O2 damage to op opponents and duels, which doesn't matter to me. Better grenade damage. Yeah, we'll take the sniper. And. This one right here, this mission right here is a timed mission if I remember correctly. I will leave that alone. I couldn't ever beat it by myself, so. Not too familiar with the map and that's part of the reason. Well, that is all. Merif. He is a dork. Do I have any moonstones left? Let's see here. I got 26. I can probably buy an upgrade. This is 12. 
Yes. What do I use the most? Let's get this, because I do use that a lot. And I have this at four, everything else is at eight. And let's go ahead and get that. Deal cross the deck, spike damage to melee attackers, chance to corrode enemies. Recharge delay is pretty bad. Minus 1.37. And this one's five seconds. Just a little bit over five seconds. Man, that is extreme. Another turtle shield, which is usually what you find the most at the beginning of playing any Borderlands game. <clears throat> Except for Borderlands 1. I don't think turtle shields was in Borderlands 1, to be honest. And if they were, I can't remember. We got a quest in there. So it's in a weapon shop. Eh. Rocket launcher. Screw this. Let's go pay him a oh, there's a jack. Like I said, don't be trigger happy. If he's got info, I don't want to hear him gurgle it through blood. He has horrible diction to start with. I I'm liking it, but his elevator's still locked. That's just great. I do have a recording of the Marath talking sexy to Serena, the custom bot's favorite squeeze. Nah, that wouldn't work. Well, remember that recording we got of the Marath and the Geisha bot thingy? We could use that to blackmail our way in, maybe. Yahtzee! Let's go find ourselves one soon-to-be outraged customs claptrap. Get that recording ready, Mox. Something sounded off about that whole conversation. <clears throat> Something did sound a bit off. Like it would didn't make sense. Come back here! I am the law! The law doesn't make mistakes! Hey! Law box! You've just interrupted an officer carrying out his duty! Uh, we're here to file a complaint. Your awesome Marif's been breaking the law. We have evidence. Breaking the law? Why don't you tell me all about it? Thank you for your concern, citizen. Rest assured it shall be long. Long live the Marif. Mox, hit it. Oh, blimey. You really know how to listen to a bloke's problems. I'll give you that. You sure I can't book you for more, uh, uh physical services? I'm a bloody stress volcano right now, and I can do with the, uh... Uh, relief. You know that's not what Geisha bots are programmed for. Serena, really? I'm your merit. You'd be doing Concordia Republic service. Won't make it worth your while. I'm swimming in dial money right now. <laughs> the merit's interfacing with my Serena? No! I feel so betrayed! And according to my records, the Marif doesn't have the appropriate paperwork to engage in such activities, which kind of makes my outrage morally justifiable. Awesome! Hey, I'm with you, pal. Word is, he's got another appointment booked with Serena right now. What? Citizens, that was not. That may have sounded like my voice, but I, 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 I've been impersonated by someone who sounds like me. I, I, I appreciate you allowing me privacy. Man, this guy just doesn't give up. This guy's so busted. Without an inter-organic fraternization license, I'm gonna make his life a living hell. Come on, elevator, let's go. Serena, I'm coming, my love. This is more like it. <coughs> and <What? laughs> here we go. To the mirror. Seriously, you idiot machine? The offices are off. <laughs> right. I'm such a kidder. Off we go. I like how Claptrap just goes right through that barrier. Like it's nothing. You have an appointment? <laughs> it's joke. Turtle shields for days. Man, everything has turtle shields. <clears throat> laser, uh, laser fire rate and laser weapon accuracy. Wow. If that was only for my character. Gun damage and fire rate. Levels at 11? Okay. 12 and 8 and 14 of 10. That might be worth picking up. There we go. Yep. 
as bad as mine. I'm keeping that one for now because I have that uh, health regen. I still got that dang tape. He's right behind you, dude. Why he does no damage. Jack does literally no damage. <clears throat> wow. Best misses ever. Oh yeah, I never turned down the uh, the physics. Serena, my love. Yeah, I haven't recorded in a few days because I'm looking for a job if everybody's wondering if they're watching this. After I upload this video, you everybody's probably why has this guy not been uploading for a few days? And my schedule's been kind of sporadic and broken when it comes to uploading in general. I'm looking for a job in real life. Try to get a little bit of money flow into the house because man, we are broke. <clears throat> Alright. Man, my throat is always so messed up. All the time. That's what happens when you smoke, guys. Just I don't take orders from civilians. However, as I was already going to do that. We can talk this out, Jackie. I don't really work this up. Team Meredith, you are hereby under arrest for violating Elpha's ethical code 3110, forbidding unlicensed interplay between... Oh my god! You stole my girlfriend, you mean that? Open this door! Oh, Serena! Ha! Talk about your win-win, that's awesome. Let's move it! Well, I think he's dead. <clears throat> Jackie! Ha ha ha! I should have said you were dead. Damn it! Dead time! I traced the signal that took down our systems on Helios. And guess what? It came from here. Your office. Signal? Signal. She might be to it. Where did she come from? And please, lie to me. I really want you to lie to me. I don't know. What are you gonna do with me? <laughs> Nothing. I was just messing with you. Get the hell out of here. I've been thinking there's a way back to Helios. I surrender. Yeah, where was I? All right, my awesome master plan. Taking the fight to Helios is gonna need an army, so we make one. Head down to Springs, I'll explain on the way. I'm gonna stay here, gonna go through the Marif stuff. We're making a freaking robot army, baby, hell yeah. Shopping list simple, some serious combat chassis and top of the line military AI to run them. Word is, Springs is a lady for the AI. Hey, Mox, you know where I can build me some kick-ass robot bodies? Since that giant laser is going to kill, well, everyone, I know who might be willing to scout around for hardware. Let me talk to them and get back to you. Sounds good. Let's hustle, people. We got a moon to save. What did you think of Jack when you first met him, Will? Considering he was the guy Moxie left you for, 
I didn't like him. You don't like anybody. I like Brick. Booyah. <laughs> I like Brick. Yep, this is how, um... Basically, it explains the story of how Jack got the massive robot army in the second game. And how he had so many robots and whatnot. Yep. Why am I heading back to there? You go the other way. And this, uh, this game basically explains how Jack became the way he is in the second game. Slash. Uh, how he had no army. How he took over Hyperion. All that stuff. Help a hey, loved one so just keeps on going. Wherefore out there art thou? I don't remember this mission. My beloved wife went for a drive hours ago but hasn't returned. She's still out there, lost in the darkness, perhaps worse. Find my Deirdre. Return her to my waiting arms. I'm sending her last known location to your echo device. To think of my delicate petal being roughly manhandled by a bunch of roving thugs. Or eaten by wild creatures. I beseech you, and I've never beseeched before. Find her. Find her. I can go into Springs' little building right here. Springs is actually in there now. There she is. She's no longer out in the Trinity Waste. I think the front door's open again. Or like just the fast travel network is open again. So I might do this mission. Looking for Deidre. Or the Daedra. <laughs> Alright. I like how the, the this is up here. So down here. Every, all the other games. All the DLC was always at the bottom. It's kind of confusing. That's one purple gun. Alright. Time to get a moon zoomy. No atmosphere, I just like no poopy man, no poopy. I can't say the SH, you know, the bad word, so I'll just say poopy. We. I'm getting some frame drops out here. I forgot to turn down the uh, physics. Now it's all like when there's too many particles going on, it's like, nope, slow down. There's a dude over there, but I'm gonna try to avoid him. Oh, that looks like her car. Please search it with all the alacrity you can muster. Why is there an arrow pointing to it? <clears throat> there's two arrows pointing to it. Mission item contain dangerous last message. My Trapped in the wreckage of our car and surrounded by evil bandits. If you get this message, forget me. Live free. Goodbye. How awful. I espy nobody. Perhaps Deirdre yet draws breath and was merely taken to the bandit settlement nearby. I'll mark the location on your echo. Please, Vault Hunter, find my sweet love, be she beneath the stars or within the heavens. Yeah, I kind of remember this mission now. It's been a long time. <laughs> no, don't fall off. I almost fell off that ledge. I have to climb all the way back up there. It wasn't that big of a walk, but still. Wow, my shooting is so bad right now. I mean,
I like this gun right here. I hope it does come back, like in the second or third playthroughs. But I remember when this game was new and it did not, it was like a one time pickup for that specific character. What the? What just blew up? Just something just like literally exploded right in front of me. What the heck was that? There's something up here at the top. <clears throat> if I can get up there, of course. Or get stuck on something. That's even better. Uh, some ammo boxes. Nothing. And two small boxes with air in them, probably. Yep. Is there a chest up here? Any loot? Yes. A doll locker. Not that great. <clears throat> yeah. Lame. I feel cheated, you know. Didn't there, wasn't there a moonstone? Yeah, there it is. I knew I saw one earlier. Here's Daedra. Oh, what's the big idea killing my men? And is that my echo message? Myron sent you, didn't he? He seems kind of sweet, but the guy's scary crazy. I mean, I wake in the night and he's staring at me. I go see friends and he follows me. When he wanted our anniversary to be a suicide pact, I knew I had to escape. So I cooked up my dramatic death. You know, you could just kill Myron. Nah, Myron's got a huge family. They'd come after me. I've got a plan, Vault Hunter. It's nutty, but should convince Myron I'm one totally dead wife. Will you help? Listen, if it gets that whack job off your case, I'm all yours. If Myron's going to leave me alone, he has to think I'm dead. So we're going to kill me. Well, my evil twin, Maureen. Myron doesn't know about her, and she's as loco as he is. Maureen's an escaped con hiding out nearby. Find her kill her, then show her body to Myron. Simple, huh? Okie dokie. He's still here. Get going. I think this uh, tape right here is another quest. My death on stage itself, you know. Off you pop. I don't want to pick that gun up. Oh, whatever. Guess I did, anywho. Alright. But I do believe that echo recorder on that desk and there's another quest. Something to do with um, a shipment of O2 kits or Oz kits. If I remember correctly. Yay, rocks. Uh, if I remember, is that some of these big uh, meteors or whatnot, these things, some of they're like one randomly will spawn on this map and I'll have a chest attached to it. I haven't found it yet. It, it could be anywhere in this entire map. But it is bigger than these and it has a, you can see a chest sticking out of it. Is this it? Yes, I think it is. Yep, it just drops all this stuff. I didn't want to do that. Get out. Let's see what we got. Grenade mods. More grenade mods. And yet, even more grenade mods, what the heck? So many nade mods. Huh. Let's go find her evil twin. That's a big one. This one have moonstones in it? Yep, I knew it. Only two. Cheap. Hey, man. Can you stop, please? Give me a shotgun. There it is. Hey. Well, <laughs> that messed him up.
He did not like that shotgun whatsoever. Will the shotgun reach? Barely. But yep, it did it. Hey. Is that moonstones or that air? The air is kind of dark blue. I guess it's all air. No, there's one moonstone. Yay! I knew it, there was one. You switch off shotgun and boom! Satisfying. That is so satisfying. Now if I... I think there's a chest up here. No, nope, maybe not. May, oh, it's up there. There's a chest up there. I think it's on one of these ledges. That ledge, I do believe. But you need a BA uh, bat thing. Can't remember the name of it. There she is. She's making a run for it. Get her. Sure. I bugged your new base, but I trusted you, D. You're so getting murderized when you least expect it. Murderized. <laughs> she going there she is I see her now doing loops around the same er same area I think alas it is my Deirdre dead and departed well then I shall join you my life fear not we shall enter the vast dark portal together my wings beast towards you in the abyss whoa Talk about two psycho birds with one stone. We just cleaned up the universe a bit, Vault Hunter. Come on back for your reward. Alright, that mission's done. Halfway. I guess I can go back to J Janie Springs. I think she has uh, several other missions besides the uh, main mission. I'm gonna go up here and see if we can get the chest up here real quick. But if everybody's wondering about my job hunt, I think I found a couple of spots. One of them that doesn't even require a uh, application signing or application at all. Just go in and ask for interviews and then they will give you three interviews and then you sign the paperwork that the normal stuff after you get hired and then you're in. I'll have to check that out. It's a little bit of a walk because only I don't drive so I'll have to walk there. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Crunch. Don't don't unfreeze. Ah, oh, you and froze. Hey. And Rithid. That's what they're called. Rithids. Rathids. Crunch. Come here, you BA. And drop. <laughs> as follows as, as fast as you can pull, uh, pull the trigger. Eh, we'll give that a look. I'd like to go fight Red Barely again off camera, and hopefully he will respawn. Because I want that shotgun. I think the shotgun's pretty good. I think the uh, SMG. Oh, I'm going the wrong way again. But the SMG is called something the Cobra or a Cobra. Nah, I wasn't a big fan of that one. Blue rarity. While the shotgun's a legendary. Rose. Calm down. Things supposed to have 100% accuracy, but sometimes it doesn't seem like it. 
crunch. Uh, no moonstone, but it was a BA, so let's see what he drops. Nothing good. I've been after his chest for a while now. I think it's just a doll locker, though. But he did get a BA up here, so the BA will give you something. Does it come back again? Wow. Come on. Keep hitting. I don't know what it what it is, but I got another one. A machine gun. Alright, let's head back to Concordia. I think the fast travel network to Concordia is open now. There's like quests everywhere. But I will try to stay away from timed quests because I cannot stand those. And if you've been following my channel for a while, for the year I've been on YouTube, you know that I cannot stand those time quests. I want to be able to take my time at everything I do, you know? Did I pass the bridge? No, here it is. But yeah, keep an eye out for those uh, big meteors with the uh, chest in them. These right here will always drop moonstones. The little ones just drop money. And uh, medium-sized ones have a chest. And you never know, you might get something good out of them. A blue or a purple rarity. Missile time. Breathable atmosphere. Excuse me, what were you saying, man? I always have to check the guns, weapon shop. Guns. Hmm. I think when you see this kind of a uh, the, uh, magazine up here, it means that's a fast fire. If it looks like this, it means the rockets Later, actually get to its target a lot quicker. And I need to expend my point, too. I got one level up point as well. Might as well go ahead and turn in this mission at the bounty board. I could learn a new language, I guess. Or not. Isn't that where I picked up that mission? Lock and load. Explosive shotgun. I always buy guns you don't need. Twenty eight times thirteen. The dead when you can buy Thirty six uh oh, nah. Mine's definitely more powerful. Hey Janie. As dry as a well, I'm pretty dry. Okay. <laughs> two words, robot army, two or two more. Heck yeah. How are you going? I finally got all my stuff back here. Welcome to my store, Springs Emporium O Stuff. There was an F, but that fell off. Oh. Moxie said you're after some military AI. Big saws, but your best bet's a mate of mine, a little ankle biter by the name of Pickle, lives in the Outlands. He's almost impossible to reach mind, but I can help with that. Take this scrambler. It scrambles things, things like uh, interceptions, or interceptors, digital locking mechanisms, and eggs. Wow, I can do eggs too. Now then, I'll upload coordinates of an old Dahl garage to your Echo. Get going, I'll explain on the way. All right, and she has other this machine right here, as you see, is called the grinder. It allows you to put guns in here and turn them into something different, or like not really something different. Is you could put like three blue guns, and you can get a chance of getting a purple. Put three purple guns in there, and you get a chance of getting a legendary. And I'm not a big fan of the grinder, to be honest with you, because the amount of guns you get in this game is not like Borderlands. Uh, Two, I guess it, it doesn't seem like the numbers there compared to two so I just didn't really mess with this thing very much but one of her requests is to fix it so Springs grinder has it uh, has big uh, bit the big one can you help out you get a skin for it level 11 G'day. 
My grinder, Bessie, finally died and I need to scrounge up a couple of spare parts. Grinder parts don't grow on trees, but luckily I got wind of two scab grinders you can uh, investigate. Don't worry, they're both stolen, so it's not like you'll be robbing honest folk. The first one's on the back of the buggy. I'm sending the coordinates to your Echo. Let's go shopping. Grinders right. are real machines. Based on some dial tech that it came my way a while back, they take random pieces of tech you don't want and recombine them into useful gear. Weapons, shields, whatever floats your boat. Rip a little earnest too. But you have to keep in mind that when you do this, you could you have to give up three guns for one. Or three grenade mods for one. Or three shields. Yeah, it always takes three. And you can boost its effect with uh, the moonstones. And sometimes you'll get the moonstone infused weapons, which are more rare, but they have like a random property on them. It's kind of hard to explain those. Until you actually see it, or like get one. And I think those come from the uh, uh, plot trap DLC. Well ninety-one dad, ninety-one point two. It's not extremely good accuracy, but it's better than eighties, like this one. Ninety-two, with better damage, bigger magazine, reload time is a little bit shorter, so. I need to keep me one of these, even though I'm barely using them. I'm already a level 11 now. I've never even used this. The Swift uh, Renegade. Let's give that Swift Renegade a try. <clears throat> That's not bad. Hey, the grouping's pretty nice. It stays all in one area. What if you uh, hit fire? Yeah, the hip fire is a little bit more scattered, but not extremely bad though, compared to uh, being what is it called scoped in. So, hey, huh, not too bad. All right, so destroy scavenger buggy. I'm almost out of time in this episode, so we're gonna go destroy the buggy and then probably in the episode, and then we'll pick up the same mission in the next episode it ain't easy to get to pickles place on foot but i can help you out with ready for it a stingray it's old dial tech they're not much to look at but moxie tinkered with the design so now they jump like a skag in heat problem is stingrays aren't easy to get to meat hunts on so happens that scrambler uh came my way it's supposed to unlock digestructing at the old Dahl garage I'm sending you to. Once you unlock a stingray there, I'll fix it so all moon zoomies are stingrayed up. The same scrambler you gave me for... Oh, it's the same one for the mission anyway, so... Alright. Oh, I think that is the vehicle I need. For the grinder part. Where'd you go? There you are. Assembler linkage. Should be one. There's super tough bits of kit. I knew this was it. <laughs> Everything else here is toast. No worries. There's still that second grinder. It's in a bandit camp set up in an old train station. It's run by some feral scavs called the Boosters. If you like, you could go over there, explain I need some spare parts. They'll be all, oh, sure thing. Help yourself, mate. Ha, right. I'm updating your echo now. Go kill those crook sons of taints. Mission now has an optional objective. Uh, optional objectives are displayed on the HUD in blue. Completing optional objectives awards bonus cash, but are not required to complete the mission. I think they just cash. I thought there was extra EXP too. Trick Myron into thinking Daedra is dead. Either way, the important thing is, is is to let sleeping dogs lie, then set a trap and trick them into telling the truth later. Thanks for killing hmm. my psycho sister. I can sleep far easier knowing her and Myron aren't around anymore. I think this is worth more. Yeah. There you go. Mission complete. Yeah, I still got that point to spend. 
Alright, but I do, I am out of time on this episode, so I will be ending that here. And then tomorrow we'll pick up where we left off. I'm doing the grinder mission slash other side quests. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. And if you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget about that. I'm trying to build my channel up and make it into something. Even though my upload schedule is kind of broken right now. But that doesn't mean I'm going, like, I'm done uploading, like, ever, forever and ever. Nah, no, it's just, I'm looking for a job, and my time's being spent elsewhere, and I just don't have time to record at the moment. But that doesn't mean I'm going to give up on my channel. Just got too much to do. Trying to find a job, helping out my wife with some uh, stuff around here. And her job, even. So yeah, that's why my sporadic schedule at the moment is hopefully it'll smooth out pretty soon. And if you like my commentary, you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, hit that like button to show you support. And if you didn't, still hit that like button just because of the sheer fact that I'm on adventures or it's gaming or it's just Borderlands, anything. I deserve likes, man, okay? <laughs> Alright, and um, next to that subscribe button, you will see a bell icon when you hit that bell icon then you become part of the meerkat nation notification squad when that happens you get notifications for everything upload so i can play anything from minecraft to borderlands to anything out there and put anything on my channel and you'll get notifications for it so you don't miss any of the awesome papa meerkat adventures all right guys well each and every one of you have an amazing day and have fun on your own ventures if it's in real life or uh in gaming just have fun with it enjoy your life and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.